Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another Disneyland vlog. Today is the 5th of December 2022 and we are currently walking towards Disneyland. That's where we're going to be spending the morning, the first part of it. I think we're going to be park hopping later on for a bit to the other park. But yeah, excited. It's our final day in the parks. We do have tomorrow as well in LA, but we won't be coming into the parks tomorrow. This is Hannah. Hi. You excited for the day, Hannah? Very excited. It's a beautiful day as well. Beautiful blue skies. Day, blue skies and sunshine. We have a good day ahead of us, hopefully. Not guaranteed, but we wish it was. That is true. <laughs> anyway, come along. It's going to be fun. Here we are. You can see Disney California Adventure DCA on the left. Disneyland here. This is going to be our final morning entering the park. I love the music they're playing. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. I've already had to take my jacket off. So now my backpack is just this huge ball because it's quite a heavy jacket that I was wearing but it's so nice and warm at the moment it's, I think it's about 17 18 degrees but because the Sun is out it's beautiful really really beautiful December day here in Anaheim hello how are you hello so your starting park is California Adventure. it's actually oh no so I absolutely messed up well I didn't mess up I just forgot my reservations I thought I had booked today to go into Disneyland first and obviously we have park up I guess both me and Hannah but for some reason I thought logically I would have booked my last day in Disneyland but I guess my logic thought let's start in a California adventure and then head to Disneyland whereas Hannah's reservation is for Disneyland and she was going to park up to California adventure so we just had a moment where she she went through the gates first of Disneyland and I was still here and then the cast member said oh you, your, your starting thing is at DCA and I was like oh no we spoke on the phone Hannah and I thanks thanks to the wife I hear we can actually do so even though we're in the US and we've sorted it out so she's gonna it's, it's 11 o'clock now at, from 1 p.m onwards you can park up so at 1 p.m she's gonna come join me at dca we're gonna do some stuff together in dca then we're gonna head back to the main park i'm just gutted because my plans have changed a little bit because of this it's just this reservation system is so annoying it really is it's the same in disneyland paris disney world i believe i understand it's a covid thing but anyway it's all right i'm just gonna have to swap my plans so unfortunately for the first few hours we're not gonna be together i'm gonna go to dca hannah will be there I actually want to film something at the Avengers campus today as well. So it's all going to be good. That's going to be a separate video. I'm going to head in now. It's okay. A little bit of a hiccup initially, but it's still going to be an amazing, sunny, beautiful day. Hello. Good morning. Hi. No worries at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here we are. Thankfully, it worked out. Back at DCA for the morning. I'm excited for the day. You know what? Sometimes it's good to be spontaneous, actually. I had a full plan of things I wanted to do, thinking I was going to be in Disneyland first. But now I'm just going to take it a bit more easy and just enjoy the day, my last full day in the both parks on this day. And I love the entertainment here as soon as we've come into DCA. There's a little band playing on the stage here. Festive songs, I love it. And presents by tree. Yes, Christmas Eve will find me. He's doing a little meeting with so I'm gonna see if I can join the line to meet him. I've not actually met Goofy on this trip yet, and you guys know how much I love him. Oh, hello, Goofy. How are you? I love your outfit. It's very nice and festive. You look really dapper, handsome. My favorite, honestly. So, oh, yeah, I love that. So nice. I, mean, <laughs> I love it. You know it. You look amazing. You like my ears as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. We do have a line. So I just met Goofy and he was amazing, such a handsome guy and I don't know who this person is, but it's really fun. What's going on here? I'm just walking next to this um, duck. Seriously, please let me know in the comments down below who this is because I have no idea, but whoever they are, they look beautiful. <laughs> this is casually walking here on the Hollywood Boulevard. It's so adorable. Also, Goofy's just leaving as well now. Bye! Aww. He is so cute. Honestly, just so dapper. We've got one of the red card trolleys going past as well, just behind me. You can see it. Okay. Alright, we did that. I want to go and try and meet Mirabelle now, because whilst we did meet her, Hannah and I, in my, uh, the main park, Disneyland, a couple of days ago also, Walt and Mickey are just here. But yeah, we did meet her, Mirabelle, in uh, Disneyland. She also has a meeting greet here and I've got my Encanto t-shirt in my backpack, my huge backpack behind me. Shout out to Vans for the backpack. I, I bought it myself but you know it is from Vans. Um, hopefully I can meet her. That would be amazing because Mirabelle's quite a rare character. I believe she's only really in Disneyland in Anaheim so far. In Walt Disney World you can see her on the cavalcade but you can't meet her and in Disneyland Paris you can't see her anywhere. 
which is a shame because Encanto is so big everywhere in the world. I hope they bring her to Paris. This waterfall thing near the grizzly bear attraction, I believe, is so popular. So many people take photos of it. And there's actually a photo pass here as well. So why not? I'm going to take a photo too. I've got a photo pass. Photos were taken. If you want to check out many photos from my trip to Disneyland over the past week or so, follow me on Instagram. It's just Sound for God. I have already shared quite a few things. There'll be stories as well saved from this trip. So yeah, worth following me there if you want to. It has been a while since I last spoke to you. I spent the past 45 minutes to an hour filming a full tour of Avengers Campus here in DCA because I'm making a video comparing both Avengers Campuses across the world. One in Paris, of course, and the one here. So make sure you are subscribed because that's going to be in a separate video. But it is now 12.25 p.m. and I am quite hungry. So I want to try the food at Pim Test Kitchen, which is a quick service here at DCA. I've heard really good things about the food here especially the not so little chicken sandwich which is what I'm gonna get so here we go the entrance to Pim test kitchen in Avengers campus in DCA let's enter automatic door entrance let's just head through oh okay it's so weird obviously it not being a buffet restaurant obviously seeing it's so small it is tiny in here all the seating for the majority of it I believe is outside but one thing that is cool that I've noticed is that they actually have like 3D real pretzels, giant pretzels and mini ones just oh my god that's adorable <laughs> like real ones rather than screen ones in Paris kind of going through, going through the machine, being shrunk or becoming bigger like you just saw over here and they just keep going through. I absolutely adore this touch actually and I wish Paris's was similar. They also have little details here on the sides like this one Huge Discovery, Tiny Heroes, there's a photo of, uh, is that Ant-Man or the Wasp? I'm not sure, but it's like, look at that, it changes. That's pretty cool, I can't get over that, seriously. It's one of the best things about Pim's Test Kitchen here in Anaheim. But thankfully, because we have done a mobile order, look at the queue for the regular like ordering section, it's quite long. Mobile order pickup is just over here. So we're just gonna go through, let them know that we're here, and oh, look at the pretzels. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. Right, let's go get our food. You can see the giant pretzels here as well obviously this isn't mine I didn't end up ordering it but you can see just how big they are like that's my hand over here I'm quite far from it but it is huge and I think this might be my order I just want to show you the sandwich one more time so you can get an idea of just how big the chicken part is I love chicken so I'm really looking forward to it so I'm just going to take a bite of the chicken because obviously the actual bread area is so small I'm going to take the bite of the chicken first mmm the chicken is nice it is quite schnitzel-y but it does taste really nice. I was worried it was going to be quite dry, but it's not. It's moist enough for my liking. There's some sauce on it as well, some kind of, I don't know if it's a cheese sauce or mustard or what, but it does taste really good, just even on its own without the bread. I'm going to try some of the potato bites now, or tater tots, but they don't call them tater tots in Disney, potato bites. <laughs> Nothing special, just standard uh, tater tots or potato bites, but I'm intrigued to try them with the cheese or bee cheese sauce now, because I love cheese. I'm not the biggest fan of beer, but I do enjoy cheese, so we'll see how this tastes. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely got the beer flavor in the sauce, which obviously makes sense. It's in the name, it's a beer cheese sauce. But it is a nice taste for sure. The cheesiness is nice, the beer taste is actually quite nice as well. So yeah, I'm glad I did get the cheese slash cheese beer sauce with the tater tots. But I want to see if I can eat it like properly as if it's a proper burger or chicken sandwich now. I mean, honestly, <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. But I've taken three bites so far and I'm still not at the bread area. But honestly, I don't think it even needs the bread because the chicken itself, especially with the salad, the coleslaw, whatever it is that's on it, and the sauce that they've used is excellent. Like I would get the chicken on its own without the bread. It's that good. The sauce is just like drizzling out of it. It is really good. A little bit spicy, but really nice. I can't quite tell what it is though. I think it's a mix of cheese, cheese sauce and mustard together. And the coleslaw salad situation as well is delicious. So finally, I think I should be able to get some of the bread. So let's just take one final bite on camera. Yeah, the bread doesn't really add much to it, to be honest. I can't really even taste it. It's so tiny. Obviously, it's nice for the novelty factor and I really like how it's presented but mainly it's all about the chicken and I'm really glad because the chicken is really really good so I would definitely recommend it I honestly even with Kim Kitchen in Paris being a full-on buffet restaurant and having so many different options of food there 
this having just this and a few other options this alone I would I would swap Paris's buffet for just this this is that good in my opinion okay well the sandwich was amazing delicious really really good definitely didn't need the extra tater tots or potato bites though I didn't realize it came with uh, potatoes already otherwise I wouldn't have gotten the extra ones and the cheese beer sauce whilst it was nice as you can see I clearly didn't love it enough to like fully finish I actually preferred them plain so that's my verdict but the chicken sandwich alone was phenomenal now we've got our huge I mean huge dessert to look forward to there's probably no way I can finish this whole thing but I'm really looking forward to giving it a taste test just again so that you can see exactly quite how big this is there it is this is my pizza I mean what even is this this is so big I can't even this, I could I feel like you could share this between like three or four people this is how huge it is it's quite peanut buttery I can already smell the peanut butter and I absolutely love peanut butter so I'm looking forward to it here is the inside as you can see it's nicely layered it is so big I don't even know if I can fit it all in my mouth but I am gonna try I honestly do you realize how big this is and also how thick it is delicious though very peanut buttery so therefore wouldn't recommend this if you don't like uh, peanut butter well, I was quite hard I should have probably used a knife again but I wanted to show you exactly what it feels like when you cut through it so you can see all the peanut butter gooeyness it is quite nice just a lot there is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to finish this so food was delicious at Pim Kitchen here a lot though like I don't know how people managed to eat everything I could not finish my dessert at all I probably only had about three or four bites of it and I felt so bad when I went to kind of give you know get, get my tray away I saw a cast member then I felt so bad because I had so much of my dessert left on there and I was like I'm so sorry I just can't finish it it's too much for one person and the cast member was like I know I completely understand you so it's not just me it is quite a big dessert just for one person I, I, I just can't get over it it's quite heavy as well because of the peanut butter flavor it was delicious but if I were to come here again I think I would just stick to the six chicken sandwich alone I don't need to get the extra bits or the cheese sauce the chicken sandwich is the highlight and I really enjoyed it anyway it is now currently about quarter past 1 p.m. my friend Hannah has parked over to this park for a bit because she wants to do some Avengers campus stuff now uh, I need to go to Monsters Inc though because I've got a genie plus for that um, and I haven't done that yet so I'm gonna be going and doing that now maybe meeting Mirabel and then heading back to Avengers campus to watch a couple of the shows with Hannah we want to watch the Doctor Strange one because I've not done that yet either so here it is the Monsters Inc attraction I'm not actually sure of its proper name oh it's Mike and Solly to the rescue that's the official name of it I really like just the facade of it again the show building from the outside I think looks so so cool also on the side right next to it they've got the flavors of Wakanda which is a new stand I believe uh, at the moment in DCA for Wakanda forever but look at this how cool is that I love the entrance you've got Boo's door over there Mike and Solly and when we know welcoming us very cheerfully the current time for this wait time standby line is 30 minutes which actually isn't too bad thankfully I do have a genie plus for it between 13 15 and 14 15 it is currently 13.26, so about half past one. I'm just going to press redeem and head into it. So there you go, I've got my lightning lane here. And you just put it through here, scan it, there you go, it's gone green. And you can join the lightning lane queue to go in. So even though it's a lightning lane, there is still a little bit of a queue because obviously lightning lane or Juniper doesn't mean you're going to get to skip the queue altogether. It just means you're going to wait a little bit less. But I love the theming in the queue as well. Look at that. Harryhausen's winning Monstropolis it's Harryhausen there you go you can see the taxis going by I really like the vehicles actually in this attraction and I'm gonna be in row number one so I think that's gonna be the front row of the taxi exciting of course thank you so much thank you very much thank you here we go Thank you. A human child! If witnesses are to be believed, there has been a child security breach for the first time in... Oh no! Happy birthday, Schmoopsy Poo! Oh, googly bear! smells as well. Oh, my birthday! I thought you cared about me! Yeah, I've got both doors set up on the scare floor. Are you done here, Pooh? Oh, look at Sally. We'll never find her door now. <laughs> what, Pooh? There's your door! Look at all the doors oh, out there. Thank you. Kitty's gotta go now. Oh, okay. Another camera. Thing I didn't like it. Oh, that was brilliant. It's such
such a good dark ride, I really enjoyed that. So I've just come out of the Monsters Inc ride and I spotted this Superstore Avengers entrance, which I'm really intrigued about. I've just seen a giant pretzel there, reminiscent of where the food at Pim's Kitchen. That's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I mean, wow. This place is huge, actually. There's Iron Man up there, Avengers Campus. So for all the kind of Avengers Campus shop, the web, uh, whatever it was called, yes. being tiny, this one's actually quite big. So if you do want some Avengers merch that isn't Spider-Man related, they do have another shop, not inside Avengers Campus, but just a shop next to the Monsters, Inc. area of DCA where you can find loads of other merch to do with other Marvel characters rather than just Spider-Man, which is cool. Now, at this point of filming, I haven't watched Wakanda forever yet, so I don't really know much about it. However, it has just come out actually, I think it came out like a few weeks ago. They do have a Black Panther Wakanda Forever display going on inside the shop, just behind me over here, which I'm going to show you just in case you're interested. So it kind of starts from here, Riri's Iron Head Mark II Black Panther Wakanda Forever, now playing only in theatres. Like I said, it has only just come out. But yeah, you've got some of the outfits, I suppose, that they wear in Wakanda Forever very cool i love that this store actually feels so nice as well it's not very busy i don't think many people are aware that this even exists i'm not sure but then they've got this huge avengers logo as well avengers campus it says up here so yeah nice little place to come and shop your other marvel like merchandise if you don't find anything that you want inside the web slingers one they've even got some pop funkos and a series of pins over there but what i just found that i quite like is this cute little postcard of my favorite little Groot and Rocket. Really, really fun. And it's from the Wonderground Gallery collection, which I've seen a lot of artwork from in Walt Disney World as well. But there you go, you can also get a huge print or that one up there, $229 for that one. Also, they have a map here of Avengers Campus in California. So like a little artwork, concept art, if you like, at the exit, so there you go. Buy giant pretzel, buy random shop. There we go, thank you very much, thank you. That was really fun and random. I need to put my sunglasses on because it's still quite sunny. It's a beautiful day. So Hannah, I think, is just about to go and eat. She was in the campus for a bit and now she's gone to eat. But we are both hoping, as I said, to catch the next Doctor Strange show in Avengers Campus in about 45 minutes. So I've still got a bit of time. I, I didn't expect uh, Monsters Inc. to take as long as it did because I was hoping to do that first, then go head over to Mirabelle and then come back. But I don't think I'm going to have the chance to do that because I really don't want to miss Doctor Strange. So I'm just going to chill here for a bit, head back into Avengers Campus, maybe film some videos or separate videos that you might be able to see on my channel later on. So back in Avengers Campus, this is a Doctor Strange show area, which is pretty cool. You can see people going in. I think it should be starting in the next two minutes, actually. So good timing. So. <laughs> They said it's standing only because there's already people here. There's no way we're going to be able to see anything. Hannah's just gone there to see. Can you see anything from there, Hannah? We might try and see something from this area here, so get here early. Well, I hope you got to see a little bit of that. It was cool to see Doctor Strange anyway, obviously, to actually properly enjoy the show. Like I said, we probably should have got there earlier the next showings at 3.45 though. And both Hannah and I, by that point, were hoping to be in the other park. But it was still really cool just seeing Doctor Strange and that's where his show is. Now we've learned. So next time if I ever come again, which I am hoping to come back maybe next year or the year after to Disneyland, I will make sure to catch it a little bit earlier. I right, just come to the lovely, what's your name? It's Kat. Kat. And you're a California local? You can't be relaxed. I am a local. Amazing, amazing. Guys, make sure you leave a comment, like it, as many, every single video that she has. Thank you so much. You're so kind. And hopefully one day you can come to Paris. Oh, I'll see you there. phone you, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for saying hi. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, happy holidays. Oh, you Thank you so holidays. much. Lovely to meet you. I'll watch the vlog. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, it's always so lovely meeting you guys. Anyway, it is currently... Oh, Peter's out. Right, so I, it's, I get distracted a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm back in the entrance of DCA. I've been walking around like a headless chicken today trying to get last minute things done. It's one of those things for the first few days where I took it chill, I just took it all in, which I think is the way forward actually, you know. You want to try and 
figure out what you want to do and then in the last couple of days which for us it's been like yesterday and today we're just trying to get all the last minute things done i so love these specific electro red trolley cars i believe they're called they bring such a cute atmosphere to disney california adventure but anyway hannah's just gone back to the main park my friend i am gonna head towards um pixar pier because i think that's where i can meet merida not merida what that's where i can meet mirabelle hopefully wearing her outfit the encanto outfit that'll be amazing and then i'm gonna join hannah in the other park not before i say a quick hi to daisy though daisy you look amazing i love your outfit so beautiful are you excited about christmas the holidays coming up yeah how's donald doing is he all right yeah cute we're kind of matching very cute Daisy, nice to see you. Anyway, we have finally come to Viva Navidad in front of us over here, Disney and Canto. You can see the fun wheel just behind the jumping jellyfish attraction as well. There's so many people around today. It feels quite busy despite it being a Monday, but I suppose it's the first Monday of December as well, the 5th of December 2022 to be precise. But yeah, I'm gonna head in. Hopefully Mirabelle will be out. I'm not even sure if she's actually gonna be out or not. Donald and one of the three Caballeros is out. I think his name is Jose maybe. That's cute, they're just here over here doing some signings but I think Mirabelle's meeting greet might be around the corner so we'll have a quick look. So unfortunately it says Encanto enter and I believe this is where she would normally meet but at the moment she doesn't seem to be in there it's just become like a photo opportunity with her backdrop. I'm going to quickly check if I can find a cast member like a character cast member to see if she, uh, she will be out or not at all. If not I'm going to try and meet Donald maybe because that's also fun. Okay, I had to ask a couple of different cast members because the first few didn't know even though they were like character people. They said it's like the new hero, like they don't normally work in this section, which is fair enough. But I finally found out that she should be out in about five minutes. So actually, pretty good timing. It is currently about 3.25 p.m. And they said, oh my god, Goofy's coming out as well. You can kind of see him coming, look. Yeah, they said Mirabelle should be out at 3.30 roughly, so in about four or five minutes time, which is actually exciting. Once I've met her, I can be done with this year, even though there's still so many things I would love to do again or do for the first time. This park is pretty, pretty big, like much bigger than you would think, and there's a lot to do. So uh, let's hope that I can come back very, very soon. But yeah, after this, I'm going to be heading straight to the other park, probably seeing Hannah at some point, doing some rides, hopefully meeting some characters as well, if they're still about, and just having a nice, chilled evening in Disneyland. Look how beautiful her meeting with area is on the outside, by the way. So we've got some of the family members. There's Abuela, Camilo over there, and they're playing music down there as well. It's a really nice atmosphere. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I love your shirt. Come on, go on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's the beach? How's the weather? Are they all good? They're all amazing. 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 Yeah. Like, I love your dress. I love Thank your Thank you so much. I got a little cold, so I have to wear this. Yes. It's quite cold today. Yes. I need to wear something over this. Yeah. It's getting colder. <laughs> nice meeting Mirabelle. I'm so glad I got to meet her twice on this trip. So if this is your first video watching of this trip of mine to Disneyland, make sure you watch the whole series because a few days ago my friend Hannah and I also met Mirabelle in Disneyland, in the main park. So it's amazing that she's out in both parks here in California and yet she's not out at all in Paris, nor in Florida I believe as far as I'm aware right now. But anyway, it's kind of goodbye now from Disney California Adventure. I need to actually put a jacket on. I am genuinely quite cold. I don't blame Mirabelle for wanting to have a little bit of a, you know, protection, warm, you know. Getting closer to the evening time, weather in December in Anaheim, Los Angeles. So I'm gonna probably put my spirit jersey on again and head over to the main park. And look at this. We've got Disneyland in front of us. The train's just going past as well. This is also the monorail track, which comes by from time to time as well. So goodbye to DCA for now. It is still quite light as well, which I do appreciate because it is currently about, it's 10 minutes to 4 p.m. And at the moment it starts to get dark at around 4.50. So in about an hour's time, we should slowly but surely see the sun setting. But look at that as well in the middle with the hidden Mickeys. I do really love how easy it is to park up. And post pandemic, the park hopping time here in Anaheim is 1 p.m. So after 1 p.m., if you've got a park up a ticket, you are actually allowed to go from one park to the other, which is why my, my friend Hannah was able to come and join me for a bit in uh, DCA and why I'm now able to go to the other park and we're both going to be just in the other park for the rest of tonight. The park is open until midnight. Who knows if we're going to stay until then? Because we are both quite tired. 
but we both do want to try and get as much stuff as possible. Right, second time round now, let's see if my ticket actually works this time round. Hello there. Hi there, how are you? Good, thank you, you? All good? Thank you so much. Oh, I can't remember, it was so sweet, he asked me to have a magical night. Anyway, we have just come through and we've got the beautiful entrance of Disneyland with the Main Street Station over there as well. Population 65000000 over there it says that. You know what, the entrance Disneyland is quite understated compared to for instance Disneyland Paris, which I believe has, in my opinion, the best entrance, the most beautiful entrance of all. But there's something really charming and cute about it that I really enjoy nonetheless. And you can see the train going past as well, cast members waving. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I really wish I had time to go on the train. I do really want to, but I'm just not sure if we're going to get a chance to on this trip, unfortunately. We've got the iconic sign here at the bridge. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. And it looks like the fantasy, Christmas fantasy parade is actually going on as well. You can see it just over there and I can hear the music too. That's good timing. <laughs> which is in there by the way just up uh, on top of Disneyland Fire Depot I can't believe I've actually been inside it and if you want to see the vlog of that check out my first full day in the park I did a private tour guided tour which allowed me to go inside Walt's apartment it was actually so so cool everyone's watching the parade but I've just come close to the Sleeping Beauty Castle just to take a moment to appreciate it a little bit because I've had a very hectic morning as you probably have seen in the vlog sorry if it's been all over the place but uh, obviously as, as I said I wanted to get everything done but it's nice to see this castle all by small it is just beautiful and I love it that it's festified like that as well with all the garlands on it anyway appreciation of the castle over for now because it is gonna get even more beautiful once it gets dark and twinkly and sparkly but I do have a mobile order at Jolly Holiday for a festive treat I'm trying to try as many festive treats as possible I'm making a whole video about the beautiful Christmassy treats here snacks and food items in all the parks basically two parks and downtown Disney so check out that video once it's out but yeah Jolly Holiday normally gets a very long queue so I thought it's best to just have a mobile order going on I did actually when I was in the other park still so now it's time to collect it thank you very much thank you so I'm just eating my Mickey brownie and if you want to know my verdict on this make sure you check out my festive snacks video from Disneyland as you can see one ear is already gone but a little spoiler it's not too bad actually it's quite enjoyable the brownie itself is really nice oh look at the castle it's so beautiful with the backdrop of the sun slowly but surely setting and we've got Tomorrowland literally right next door it's so close everything is just so close to each other all the lands in Disneyland but that's not where we're heading actually I need to go towards Matterhorn because I want to make my way towards it's a small world because I believe in about 25 minutes time at 5 15 p.m. there should be a lighting ceremony on it's a small world with like a projection show and everything and for some reason I've missed that the past couple of days that I've been here I've seen it all lit up so uh, there's some photos of it as well so if you want to check those out again another plug for my Instagram I do apologize I keep saying it but yeah if you really do want to see some photos Instagram is the best place to go look at the Matterhorn going around here Matterhorn is so popular also I really want to go on the Alice ride as well at some point hopefully later on and the teacups look so small here compared to what I'm used to in Paris anyway yes it's a small world is where I want to go I did actually bump into my friend Hannah as well we're both just doing you know what we want to do all the last minute things that we want to do so she's just gone off to to Norland to the Autopia whilst the queues are quite short obviously I'm going to go and do it's a small world the lighting ceremony which I'm so excited about it just looks so stunning when all the lights light up so yeah hopefully gonna do that then I'm gonna join her in Tomorrowland and I've got a genie press for Space Mountain and after this hopefully I can calm down a bit popcorn oh I love this park so much I have decided I do prefer a Disneyland park to DCA as much as I love California Adventure my heart belongs to Disneyland look at this it's so cute shout out to the UK we've got one of the London telephone booths over there and you can probably hear this small music in the background as soon as you enter this section of the park it just honestly brings me so much joy like it brings joy to my heart it fills me up with happiness look at those balloons as well the festive balloons this area of the park might legit be one of my favorite parts and I love how many snack carts they've got going on like 
popcorns, pretzels, churros, just everywhere. As you walk, it makes the park smell delicious. Like, honestly, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now. Oh my God, I just asked the cast members there, shouted them, they were really lovely. Um, I asked them, where do I need to stand to watch the lighting ceremony? And they were like, anywhere here. Like, look at all the space here. And I was like, anywhere? There's nobody here? And they were like, yeah, just anywhere. Take advantage of the fact that there's hardly anyone here right now. So amazing. I mean, we do still have about 20 minutes to wait for the lighting ceremony. But yeah, I think I'm just going to place myself here. You can see the little clock going tick tick as well. And the monorail has just gone past as well. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here and enjoy the view of a small world for the next 20 minutes until they do the lighting ceremony. I just... I feel really overwhelmed being here. It's so nice. I love this small world music. And the music here, the song, is different to the one in Walt Disney World. It's also different to the one in Paris. I love the Paris one, I love the one here. I don't like the Disney World one. The Disney World one just doesn't feel quite as magical, like the actual soundtrack of it. Whereas here, it just feels amazing. Okay, so it's almost 5.15 p.m. I think it should be starting soon. It is getting darker as well now, so we're very excited. Please direct your attention to It's a Small World as we celebrate the joy of the holidays and light up the night with thousands of twinkling lights. As we count to three, we invite you to join us in wishing for peace on Earth. One, two, three. I think it was literally it. They just lit it up and it looks beautiful, stunning. I was expecting some projections as well, but I think that might be with maybe like in tune with the fireworks show, which tonight we are hoping to watch the fireworks from the main street and actually see it by the castle. But honestly, how pretty does it look? I just, I can't. It truly is on another level. I mean, as if it's a small world wasn't already one of the most beautiful facades of any attraction. Now they've lit it up like this as well. It's so cute and you've got the Santa hat too. Honestly, it's so beautiful. You can see the train going through as well, which is so cute. It's got a really long wait as well at the moment. Standby time is about an hour, 60 minutes. You can see the queue over here. But I love how the trees as well, everything is just so festive and beautiful and sparkly, honestly, with the music in the background. Even on this side, there's just a lot going on here. It's beautiful. You can hear the train, hopefully, going past. Ah, oh, my heart is really happy. Oh my god, I love this attraction so, so much and the festive holiday version is so good as well. Anyway, I am going to make my way towards uh, Tomorrowland now, which is a land that I've hardly spent any time in. I think we only did the submarine ride in there a couple of nights ago. So yeah, I've got a Genie Plus for Space Mountain, as I mentioned a couple of times in the vlog, so hopefully I'll be able to make that. It's between 5 to 6 p.m. and it's currently 25 minutes past 5, so it's all good. The teacups attraction might be quite small in terms of its size here in Disneyland, but it is quite cute actually still with the lanterns, because it does have the lanterns. It's like a little secluded area under this tree as well. So yeah, I do enjoy it. I don't ever been on it actually, but it is cute to walk past, especially now that you know it's all lit up, now that it's getting dark. But anyway, I need to stop getting distracted so easily. There's just so many pretty things to look at everywhere. I need to actually head over to Tomorrowland. I just saw the monorail go past as well, which just makes me so happy, especially the one that goes past the Matterhorn with the backdrop of it. It's so cool. I think it's just because we don't have it in Paris. That's like a novelty, the, no the monorail here, both here and in Florida as well. It's just a cute little monorail that goes past, especially here because they've got the Mickey logos as well on it. It's so cute. Anyway, let's head to Tomorrowland. Here we are taking this narrow pathway towards Tomorrowland and they've got Astro Orbiters right at the entrance. Just walking past Astro Blasters, which is Buzz Lightyear's ride, the shooting ride, and it's got a 35 minute wait time, so it is a pretty busy day, I would say, despite it being a Monday. And it just hit me that it probably is because today is actually Walt Disney's birthday. I mean, it might not be the only reason. People might just want to be coming to the park because the weather's been nice and stuff. But it is Walt Disney's birthday on the 5th of December, 2022, so 
Who knows, maybe they'll do something about him with the fireworks show, that would be quite cute. But yeah, it definitely has been busy. I've spoken to quite a lot of locals as well, in queues and stuff, and everyone's saying it's quite busy for a Monday. So I'm just walking past everything in Tomorrowland, and I just spotted this at the Tomorrowland Terrace, which I believe is a quick service restaurant. And they've got this stage set up with a couple of gingerbread and some Mickeys and Christmas Mickeys and Christmas trees. I'm not sure if, you know, something's meant to go on. I'm sure something's going to happen at some point. It says holiday dance party over there. So maybe you can grab your something to eat from Tomorrowland Terrace in this area sit down and from time to time watch a little show here how cute I'm constantly amazed as to how much there is to do in Disneyland even though it's only two parks there's just a lot to do at least for somebody like me because I like doing everything I'm the type of Disney fan who loves meeting characters I love going on rides I love trying the food I just want to do everything that I can and so obviously this is not enough time really I mean I would have liked to have eaten there but I'm only here five days I don't have any more space in my stomach to eat another meal here anyway one thing I'm definitely jealous about at Disneyland is that they've still got their pizza planet in Tomorrowland it says alien pizza planet I'm not sure how good the food is because normally pizza planets don't tend to have the best food but it just looks so cool you've got the pizza planet spaceship there as well delivering refreshments and you've got one of the green aliens just chilling at the entrance oh I love it I just love the theming because I love Toy Story so much and it does look quite busy actually in there for those of you who might not know there used to be a piece of planet in Disneyland Paris's Discoveryland as well up until I want to say around 2016 or 17 they just randomly closed it one day without actually like warning fans it just closed and never reopened and for a while people weren't sure if it was going to open or not if it was closed temporarily but it's just been closed since and Nothing's replaced it either, which is just so sad. And I believe there used to also be a pizza planet in uh, Hollywood Studios, which has uh, also closed. And that one's changed into a pizza thing again. It's a pizza restaurant, but to do with the Muppets, I'm not sure of the name. I can't remember it. But yeah, I did go to the pizza planet in the Florida once as well, my first visit there in 2015. So I'm glad I got to experience that. I'm glad I got to experience the one in Paris before it closed. And maybe on my next visit, not this time around, I'm just, I've eaten a lot. I might be able to maybe get a snack from there later, actually, but definitely not actual food. But yeah, Pizza Planet is just such a cool theme thing. They really need to just, they should have kept them all open, to be honest, I mean. Who wouldn't want to eat in Pizza Planet? I mean, I can just hear it in Andy's voice. Pizza Planet, mom, let's go to Pizza Planet. And it's so weird that you can actually see the Matterhorn from Tomorrowland. Honestly, Tomorrowland here is just like, the layout for it is so bizarre. And I believe we're actually very close to Space Mountain because the logo for it is just here. So I'm just trying to find the lighting layout. There you go. That's the entrance. Well, to my dismay, Space Mountain is here. That's the entrance. That's the lightning lane and also the standby lane. But as you can see, there's no timings there because it has just broken down. I spoke to the cast members there. They said my Genie Plus now has now automatically changed into like a multiple experience thing. So I can use it at this time for whatever I want to. I can just wait and use it back on Space Mountain whenever that comes back up. So, because I'm here right next to Pizza Planet, I know if you want to go inside and just maybe grab myself a small snack or something, even if it's just water, I just want to go in it. So I'm just waiting in the queue to go inside Pizza Planet. Obviously, I'm loving all the green aliens. And the inside looks more or less like a canteen, but exactly what you would expect, actually, from a Pizza Planet type restaurant. There's some aliens on the ceilings as well. Very fun. So I got all the way to the front of the line, and what I wanted, I really wanted, the green alien macarons that they've got for the festive season but they said they run out apparently they normally run out at like 2 p.m if they're that popular so oh well space mountain is still down so i think i'm gonna make my way back to i don't even know main street maybe and from there go to galaxy's edge because there is a galaxy's edge here as well which i've actually not been to at all yet in fact i've not done any other star wars land whether it's here or in florida in florida in 2020 my cousin and i were there and we went to galaxy's edge but we didn't go on any of the rides because the queue times were just ridiculous so i think doing it here because i've got genie plus might make more sense because i doubt even on my next Walt disney world trip whenever that may be i just don't think i'm going to bother doing the rise there. it's just going to be really difficult with how popular it is over there and how many people go in them i like the signs there anyway no worries about the green alien thing i'm going to put a picture over here so you guys can see what it looked like i don't even like macarons it's just because it looks so cute i really wanted to try it oh well let's head into galaxy's edge it's been about an hour since i last spoke to you guys i ended up getting myself another snack from jolly holiday but the queue for it was so long and you couldn't mobile order the snack that i wanted to get it's one of the mickey gingerbreads that are extremely popular here for the holiday season um so i was like why not get in the line i didn't expect it to be that long though 40 minutes but expect to see that in my snacks video which is probably already up 
it was actually quite nice as well and I ended up getting two because I panicked once I got there after 40 minutes of waiting the customer was like how many do you want and I was like how many can I have and she was like there's a limit of five max and I was like okay I'll have two then so I've got an extra one in my bag I can probably have it for my breakfast tomorrow which is nice but I'm finally now heading into Galaxy's Edge for the very first time here in California and wow already I feel so immersed into the universe of Star Wars despite not even being a huge Star Wars fan or not really knowing too much about the Star Wars franchise so a lot of these details in this land are probably going to be lost on me but uh, yeah it's cool it feels a little bit smaller than the one in Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World but yeah it's amazing I have no idea where to go now there's a shop there I don't know where the rides are I want to do Millennium Falcon which is the one that I can do with my Genie Plus the other one Rise of the Resistance you have to buy like a $25 Lightning Lane 4 which I may still do that as well if I feel like it after the fireworks but I don't know I feel like with that one because it's the one it's one that you have to pay for anyway and I think you can also do the same in Walt Disney World in Florida and just pay for it I could just leave it for when I next go to Walt Disney World which should hopefully be very very soon the beginning of next year fingers crossed if all goes to plan this must be Ogas Cantina I presume which I've obviously never been inside either and I think in front of me oh my god that looks so cool right okay this this land does look amazing I wish I liked Star Wars because if I did I think I would really truly appreciate this so much more but it actually looks so cool at night as well when my cousin and I went to the one in Florida back in 2020 before the park closures we only got to experience Galaxy's Edge during the daytime so like, this is my first time seeing Galaxy's Edge in the dark and it's so much cooler than in the daytime in my opinion anyway this is the Millennium Falcon ride I believe they do actually do single rider as well and the standby wait time is only 25 minutes at this time of evening it is currently let's have a look okay so it's 5 past 7 p.m. so probably a good time to come considering today's been quite busy but at this time of evening I guess a lot of people are either watching the parade on Main Street the Christmas parade or maybe having their dinners I have a lightning lane anyway though because of the Space Mountain situation so I'm just gonna use that also I am now wearing a hat because it's getting a bit cooler and I feel like my head needs a bit of a break from the ears but also my hair's quite a bit of a mess so I thought I'd bring this which I only got yesterday if you haven't checked out my vlog from the previous day make sure you do it was an awesome day we spent it mainly in DCA it wasn't quite as mismatched as today but um yeah I'm I'm very excited about doing this so this is my multi-experience lightning lane genie plus thing I'm just gonna put it here oh there you go let's head in this looks to be the queue line for it oh wow okay this is overwhelmingly fun I'm a little bit nervous I have to be honest just because I really don't know what to expect I know this was the one that like has a pilot and like every every person on the ride apparently has their own responsibilities I think that's what's making me nervous but maybe because I'm like I suppose technically a single rider even though I'm not going for the single rider queue maybe I'll just be the engineer is that the one and hopefully I won't have a lot to do because I really won't know what to do Lordy, I don't want to get stressed. I really am enjoying and appreciating the queue line for this attraction though. Again, even as someone who doesn't know too much about Star Wars, this is so cool. Oh yeah, there's a sign here that says flight crew wanted, pilots, gunners, engineers. So let's hope I'm the engineer because I don't think I'd be trusted with being a pilot to be fair. Hello, hello my friends. I am Hondo Onaka and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Fly this thing, a gunner to shoot. Ooh. We'll have two gunners actually. However, you want to do it today. <laughs> Fly color will be purple, my ahead. friend. Head on the yeah, egg. Remember, you tell me purple. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 my yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't pay that well. Fall down. All right, you. Yeah. Left and left, right and right. Normal. You. What is that? <laughs> oh. That's gonna be down though. <laughs> up is down. Down is up. Okay. You guys oh, just press any buttons to shoot. Number one rule on earth. Know what you're I'm shooting pilot, out guys. here. One of the pilots. Everyone's gonna die because she's a pilot. <laughs> we don't care if she dies. We just want the cargo. <laughs> Dying great. Coming back horrible. <laughs> 
True. Lord have legit mercy. <laughs> Apparently I'm in charge of left and right. The other pilot is in charge of up and down. And really we're going to be in control of the whole thing. Takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Move out, my friends. See you in the cockpit. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Wonderland. Oh, I didn't look at the beautiful picture. Aladdin is always able to steal Apple. This area is quite cute. We're just going through some tweeds. Oh, there's a lot of 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 tweeds. Oh, Uh, unfortunately, she was a tad bit too late, however, as her now one sees carriage is a lovely pumpkin sitting on top of the bridge. Did you enjoy that, Hannah? That was really cute, actually. Much cuter than I remembered it to be. Our child is adorable. Yeah, really adorable. Monorail there behind me. We are now heading to Tomorrowland because Hannah checked on the app and Autopia has a 10 minute wait time, which is amazing. I really want to do Autopia. I've never done Autopia. Well, in fact, I haven't ever done it here, but also I haven't done it in a long time with a friend. So it should be amazing. I'm going to let Hannah drive and I'll just chill and enjoy. So we are in Tomorrowland now. Monorail entrance that way. Autopia, it says this way. We've literally got it here. I'm really intrigued to see it here in uh, California, actually. There you go. You can see the cars here. They're a little bit different to the ones in Paris. But yeah, more or less similar. I'm more interested, intrigued about like what journey it takes and what kind of views we're going to see. Here we go. Our car is an orange one, and it's just gone inside the driver's seat. Oh my God! We're going. <laughs> this is going faster than I thought it was. Oh my Lord! I don't either. <laughs> Don't ask me, I can't. It, and it's still moving and then suddenly it's Yeah, like it's like doing a little, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. She's got the hang of it now, I think. Oh, oh look at that, look at that. This <laughs> I'm being distracting to I haven't her. driven in over three years. Well, I've never driven, so it's a good thing at least one of us has some experience, because I would, <laughs> why are we moving like this? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't remember this being this way. No. I'm glad we're doing this together. If I did it I, by myself, I'd be like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah. Like scared. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared now as well. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I can't. I can't even deal with this. <laughs> this is the funniest ride of the whole day. I would say genuinely. <laughs> We're I'm stuck. <laughs> We're stuck. We're yeah. Oh, who knew? Traffic even in Disneyland. I don't think I'm allowed to do that. No, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the car in front of us has basically stopped. It's a traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> and all the other cars Sorry. around us. We're in the wrong lane right now. We I don't can't know how. change lanes. Literally, yeah. We just. This is it. This is going to be my first ever evacuation. <laughs> That would be the funniest one to get back from. Nobody's realised. I know, no, we're just chilling here and the cast members haven't come yet to save us. Oh wow, we can finally move again. <laughs> finally. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know, right? This whole traffic jam behind us is finally now moving again. Thank the Lord after like a five, ten minute wait. <laughs> This is called the Sears of Class Slide. Here you go, follow along. Up and down, up and down, do the slide. Slide. And then we've got one more time. Up and down, take it straight down. Keep going, one more time, to the side. Da 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 Christmas. Do the celebration class. Here you go, come up high. Hand low, up high. Hand low, up high. Hand low, very good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. My legs have been hurting all day. Well, Autopia was. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, it's probably the best way to describe it. Really fun though, to be fair. Like an adventure that I was not expecting to have. <laughs> and on the way out, we would have just seen, we saw that stage again at the Tomorrowland Terrace. Um, Marie and one of the other Rooster Cats were on stage earlier for the dance party. And then just now, Chippendale came as well. But it is about 8.35 and the fireworks start in about an hour. So we're going to head back to Fancyland, try and do Alice in Adventure and Alice in Adventureland. Alice in Wonderland, I know. I, know. I have no idea what I'm saying at this point of night. <laughs> It's an adventure land. It's because we've just been on an adventure, Hannah, that's why. why. Quite an adventure as well. Quite the adventure on Utopia. But yeah, let's head to Alice in Wonderland. On the way to Fantasyland though, I just bumped into the lovely Bethany. 
oh, amazing. Oh, oh, bless her. She was like, Sam, for God. And I, loved, and it was, I, was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh. And then I met the lovely yeah. Bethany. I love your ears. I love your lounge side bag. Amazing. Very festive for the day. And so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. I live vicariously but through your blogs because Aww. it reminds me of all the times that I went to Disneyland Paris for the first time back Aww. in 2019. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so glad that you enjoyed the vlogs and hopefully you come back at some point. I really hope so too. Yeah, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, Bethany. Lovely to meet you. Lovely Thank to meet you. you too, Sam. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, she was so Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. She was so lovely. Right. She was amazing. Right. Oh my god, monorail. Monorail again. I don't know why I get so excited by it, Hannah. I've got a problem with monorails, honestly. They just it's because I'm I have a lack of seeing it through the Exactly, I have a lack of monorail. I have a lack of monorail syndrome. So when I see them, I'm just like monorail. And the ones who are so cute because they've got the Mickey faces on them. Well yeah, exactly. Look, we're like under the monorail track right now. We're so close to it. Also I'm slowly but surely losing my voice. It's ridiculous. I feel like I've talked so much. Vlogging does require a lot of talking. And obviously I've been talking to Hannah as well since she arrived. So it's been like double talking. And now I feel like I don't have any voice left. And with that we've got another monorail shot going for you. And we're back in Fancyland heading to Alice in Wonderland. Not Adventureland, which is a ride that I've never done before because like I said last time I was here, I'm pretty sure it was closed, so I'm intrigued to see what it's like. Unfortunately, Alice in Wonderland has now closed the queue line for it. It will be open later, but because the fireworks start in about 50 minutes, and obviously that's the Fancyland attraction. Some of the Fancyland attractions close early. I don't know about the teacups. I don't know about, I think Small World is obviously open because it's not too close to the castle, but yeah, so we're gonna hopefully go and do that later on. So we really do want to do it. It'd be so funny if I don't get it to do it this time around either. But if I don't manage to go on it on this trip, it just means I'm gonna have to come back. But for now, Hannah had this brilliant idea to go and um, try and get on the train, like a train that goes round the park, get it from the Fantasyland station to the entrance, and then watch the fireworks from there. If we can do that, it's gonna be amazing. You know what else is amazing though? This pathway to it's a small world with the twinkly lights. It's just beautiful. I never get tired of this. Oh, it's a small world. It's just so, so cute. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I believe, I believe that's the way to go to um, the train. I've actually never done it here, so I'm excited. Lion King is growing forever, Sam. <laughs> I don't know why would you say that? <laughs> Oh, you're hilarious. That was an inside joke, by the way. My friend Hannah tries to be funny from time to time. Sometimes she fails. Sometimes like this time around. It was actually significantly funny. Moderately funny. Thank you. So the train has just arrived and it's so interesting because I think it's the only train of all the Disney trains that faces forwards. So you know, as in like it faces towards like the park rather than facing forwards is what I meant to say, sorry. So yeah, it should be very interesting. We're going to get a pretty awesome view of the park. Amazing, this is incredibly exciting. Hannah, have you been on this before? I've never been on this, I don't think. No? I don't remember it Yeah, it's amazing because look at our view right now. Legit. We've not even moved it, but already we've got this amazing view of the Matterhorn and bits of it's a small world on our side. And yeah, it's going to be awesome to see how it goes. Our next stop will be at Tomorrowland Station. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on the Disneyland Railroad. So Mantenga cute. las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. I Gracias. love it. I love it already. As we so leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all, Fantasyland. We're now steaming forward into the future to a land inspired by visions of tomorrow, both practical and imaginable. Here you'll find rocket ships and star speeders, submarines and astro blasters, and if you look overhead, maybe a glimpse of a Mark 7 monorail. Wash the window, wash the window. Oops, Mr. Spot. It's like a royal wave. <laughs> wash the window, wash the window. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Basically, we're just waving at the people on the train. We'd like to thank those of you who've been with me for the Grand Circle Tour of Disneyland. We hope you enjoyed your travels with us and that you'll come back to ride with us again real soon.
For those of you staying with us, we'll be on our way again in just a few minutes. This is Main Street Station. And just like that, we are back at the top of the park, the entrance of the park. That was actually such a fun journey. The dinosaur bit was so cool and I had no idea it happened. Oh, I, right, folks, we're now at train. I highly USA. recommend doing the train. At the time, we do have to use the train. It's one of my highlights for sure. Oh, it's so cute coming off the train station, the main train station at the entrance, seeing the beautiful lit up Christmas tree with all the twinkles. It's also interesting, oh my god, that station over there, but yeah, it's interesting that they've taken all the candlelight processional stage off already overnight, because that's that was on yesterday, on Sunday. It's also currently about 10 minutes past nine. Fireworks will be starting in the next 20 minutes or so, so yeah. Hopefully we should be able to get a pretty decent view from it. Thankfully it doesn't look to be as busy as we thought. So there's actually space to move here. Even though the fireworks should be starting in 10 minutes, we can actually walk down Main Street and look how beautiful the garlands look. The Mickey garlands up there, all the Main Street lights, the Christmas music they're playing. And of course the teeny tiny castle there in front of us. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> he knows I'm she also knows I'm joking as well. <laughs> I would like to think that if I was actually getting emotional you wouldn't just give me the you'd be you'd be more like, oh Sam. Would you? I don't know, we'll see. We'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so emotional, I can't deal with this. That was terrible acting. So <laughs> that was terrible acting. Anyway, the fireworks should be starting soon. I'm in a very hyper mode because I'm very tired. Mode? Mood? Am I a machine? Am I, do I have modes? No, I'm in a hyper mood. <laughs> I'm in a really hyper mood. I think because I'm genuinely so tired. I've walked over 20,000 steps today. Most days it's been like close to 20,000. Today it's over 20,000 because I've literally been walking around like a headless chicken, which is like my new favorite saying now for some reason. But that's what I did for the first part of the day. And now I can finally chill, although I'm still walking. I'm going to be walking from here to Frontierland after this.
happens weirdly, but just with a beautiful fireworks display that just happened as well. This is amazing. We've got the Christmas tree behind us too. I love this. I think. Oh. Oh my god, the snow is actually quite a lot. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed that bio display a lot. Very much. I preferred it to the World of Colour holiday version that we saw last night. This is definitely, definitely worth watching. We've just come into a shop after that beautiful fire display. I just really enjoyed the music that went with it and the projections too. Really, really cool. But this shop seems to mainly sell like jewellery and look, there's my Bay Ariel with flounder. These are actually really cute present ideas for somebody who enjoys the screen tessas. So there's Aurora, we've got Cinderella and she comes in her little carriage. And then they've got some watches for little ones over here. They've got some actual like more, what would you call this, sophisticated? Adult jewellery here as well. More expensive. More expensive, yeah. Anna's correct. Um, yeah, like slightly more upmarket, I suppose, jewellery here, which is cute. And I think maybe they might have Pandora here as well. I'm not so sure. But yeah, really cool that this place is just dedicated to um, jewellery stuff. Look at these earrings. Chippendale, festive. And these are so cute as well. I mean, Lord have mercy. You can't even get them out. You know, like they're expensive when you can't take them out of the thing. I'd love to know the price. $55. That's actually not too bad. But yeah, as you know, as I've said before in these vlogs, I'm not one for wearing Disney jewelry personally. And I don't even really have a real reason for it. I just don't like it on myself. But I love looking at them because they are so pretty and there's such a good variety of Disney jewelry and necklaces and earrings and stuff here in the shop that I enjoy. Like, look at that. This is cute. This is a small world one. How cute is this bracelet? Adorable. It's something that one would think I should want and I love it I love like looking at it but I just don't enjoy it on myself this is like a ratatouille one as well look at that very cute you've got my least favorite fruit of all strawberries on there hilarious what have you got in your hands Hannah um, it's a bead making kit oh that is cute and it's like in the shape of cocoa yeah, and it's got the nice very fun look at this uh, Toy Story one as well we've got Forky, Buzz and Woody Honestly, these are really cute. I'm just going to look at the price because I'm curious. This is $29.99. These, I think, probably are all similar priced. Not too bad. We've got the grape soda one up there. There's some up ones. There's some more stuff going on here. There's a Winnie the Pooh bracelet. There we are, my bay again. There's Moana. More Moana. More Moana. And, of course, back to Ariel. Look at that festive Santa cookie and how giant it is as well. We've just come inside the shop to try and get through the crowds on Main Street a little bit easier. It is still busy here. Oh yeah, there's Pinocchio there. I should do. Sorry. Oh my god, I don't. Do you have 20 points? Please do. No, I don't. Oh no. I got your ring in there, but that's fine. Can we bring it to Laura's yeah, crown? Cute. Yeah, cute. Very cute. Also guys, look at this. I just starting to do seeing the Faster the Snowman here with this. This gift shop. This is so cool. Christmas song list. Deck the horse Christmas in Candyland. They've got obviously um, Frosty the Snowman at the moment. This is so fun. This whole entire shop, even though it's busy, they have loads of snacks here. They've got Pinocchio here. Unfortunately, we didn't have the money to put in there. The change. But yeah, it's very, very cute. We're now heading into Adventureland for the first time today. We want to try and do a couple of rides here. Hopefully front, uh, Thunder Mountain, because we've not done that yet. I know that's in Frontierland, but we're just walking through here. So apparently Big Thunder Mountain is currently... <laughs> so apparently Big Thunder Mountain is currently... How many minutes? 25. 25 minutes. Thank you to the marvellous Hannah for looking at the app constantly for us. Um, so excited. I can't believe I've been here for like five days now and I've not been on Thunder Mountain yet. I'm going to uh, test the queue time, see how long it's going to be. I'm really intrigued if it's going to be 25 minutes, 30 minutes, longer, a bit shorter, we'll see. Anna, what have we got with you? I have a Mickey Mouse-shaped gingerbread cookie. They were cute. I have already tried this. I randomly got two because I panicked. The cast member asked me and I was like, yes. I'm excited for Hannah to try it whilst we're looking at Big Thunder Mountain to see what she thinks. Me too. Did you take your tea? What do you think? Quite nice. I really liked it. Like I said, make sure you watch my snacks video to see my full verdict on it. But Hannah seems to approve of it as well, so good choice. Maybe it was worth me waiting in the line for like 45 minutes to get it, or two of them.
and it's been 24 minutes and 30 seconds I'm gonna stop this because as you can see we're gonna be on the next train It is some time later, it's probably been about two hours since I last spoke to you and the time is 1.50 a.m. Basically 10 minutes to 2 a.m. We only got back to our hotel Candlewood Suites about, I want to say 25 minutes or so ago. About 1.30 a.m. We are both extremely tired. Um, but I want to do a little recap of what happened in the past few hours of being in the park. Also, sorry, I am genuinely losing my voice. I feel like I've just talked a lot and screamed quite a bit as well on rides today. But yeah, my batteries died and then I was going to film on my phone and vlog there, but then I thought I might as well just film little bits and bobs and actually enjoy the last few hours, you know, without constantly vlogging. And it was nice because obviously this vlog is also very long already, so I didn't want to... I thought I'd spare you, you know, any longer of a vlog, although I'm going to ramble now anyway. So basically after Big Thunder Mountain, which is the last time I spoke to you, Hannah and I headed to Indiana Jones because Indiana Jones didn't have a very long wait time. Hannah hadn't done it yet. I did it on my first day and I really enjoy it. And that was really, really fun. We probably waited in the queue for about 15 minutes, 1-5, not long at all, and we laughed a lot on that ride. It's such a good ride. It's very similar to Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom, but yeah, it's just very well-themed, really, really cool. I wish Disneyland Paris had something like this. Like I would easily swap the Indiana Jones ride in Paris, which is a roller coaster, with the Indiana Jones ride here in Disneyland. And then after that, we saw that Pirates nearby also had a very short queue. It was practically, in fact, a walk-on. Like, we literally walked onto Pirates of the Caribbean at around 11 p.m. it must have been, so an hour before uh, park closure, which was really cool, because the other day when we did it, we, we had to wait about 25 minutes, but to be able to just literally walk onto the ride was amazing, and I absolutely adore Pirates. I think it is definitely, well, in fact, it's 100% better than the one in Florida, but I think it's now up there with Paris's Paris. I think I like both equally, because Paris is just, just like, it's a different, the storytelling in Paris is different, it's a bit more thrilling, it's just really cool, I do love Paris a lot, but the one in uh, California that we just went on is also just incredibly immersive, and the sky especially just looks so cool, like, you really, you don't feel like you're in a theme park, you genuinely feel like you've gone to the Caribbean because it's immersive from every side and it's quite narrow as well, so yeah. I really enjoyed Pirates, I'm glad we got to do it again. And then I went to get some food because it was like 11.15 p.m. and I realized I hadn't actually eaten any proper food since like my lunch at around midday, which was at PM Kitchen in the other park. And so I was like, okay, I need to eat real food, not just snacks. So I went to Bengal Barbecue in Adventureland, which loads of you had recommended to me. So yeah, I thought, let's try that, Bengal Barbecue. Um, and it was good. I went for the spicy, spicy beef one, spicy beef skewer, as well as a chicken one. The chicken one was like quite sweet. I think had some kind of sweet sauce on it, clearly pineapple or whatever. I, I'm not really sure. But yeah, it was all right. The chicken one was all right. I did really enjoy the spicy um, beef one though. So really, I wish I'd gotten two of the spicy beef because the flavor of that was definitely much, much better than the chicken. For me personally, I don't really like sweet things. But I just wanted to try a bit of both. The one thing I will say though is that the spicy beef skewer weirdly came quite cold, but the chicken one was hot. So I don't really know what happened there. I don't know if they just prepared the, the spicy meat bit first and then the chicken one came a bit more fresh and that's why one was cold and one was hot. I didn't mind. Um, and it came with rice and I also got like a little bread as well. It was like a garlicky bread, 
that I saw on the like mobile order thing I thought I might as well get that too it looked really good I like garlic the bread was very meh it was very average I would not recommend getting that I wouldn't get it myself again I still ate it because I was hungry but the skewers were really good particularly the beef one the beef one really good I would get it again chicken one all right generally speaking though overall it definitely wasn't my favorite quick service experience but it was good I mean everything I've had in Disneyland and DCA and downtown Disney so far has been good I've not had a bad meal it's just compared to some of the other ones that I've been completely amazed by this one was just it was all right anyway after pirates I actually bumped into two of you so Ashley and Ashley which was really lovely I'm gonna go to a clip of that now <laughs> thank you for saying hi guys hi. thank you Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, after food, it was more or less basically midnight at that point, which meant official park closing time. And so, yeah, just went back to Main Street, had a look at the castle, said goodbye to the castle, enjoyed its beauty and the sparkles and everything for the final time. Main Street with all the decorations, with the festive decorations. That was really cute. And I did go to the shops again. I pretty much went to all the shops, but Hannah and I decided to just do one final little look at the shops on Main Street, especially to see if there's anything we want. And I did buy a couple of things which will be coming up in a haul video, of this land haul video. You might have already seen it, it might already be up, it might be coming up. But make sure you check it out after you finish this video. Sorry about my tired voice, honestly. I feel like <laughs> I'm so genuinely tired. Like, as soon as we both got back to the hotel, we just sat, lied down, and just <laughs> didn't speak for a bit. And it's only now that I'm finally starting to get ready for bed. Anyway, I went to a shop and I got myself, I think it was like a pair of ears, spoiler and something else that was quite small and as I was paying a lovely cast member, the lovely cast member who was doing like, you know, at the payment and stuff, checking me out is that the word? they don't check me out do they? Uh, uh, oh, it's fine, we'll just leave it she just asked me where I was from, probably because of my accident and I was like, yeah, from the UK and I told her, it's my last night, you know, tomorrow I've got a long flight ahead, etc just like, you know small talk and she was asking me a little bit about like how I, how I enjoyed the parks and where I'd been and what I'd done and had I been to both parks etc she was very very lovely her name was Lilia um, and honestly one of the best cast, cast interactions I've had here and I'm so glad that you know the final cast interaction cast member interaction I had in the park was with her because not only was she just lovely and very friendly and very sweet at the end of it she well she did ask initially she was like have you got a button like a first visit button and I was like no because I have been here before this is my second time I was here in this land last like about six seven years ago so I, you know, I don't think I don't feel like I deserve a first visit badge and so she was like she was like okay whatever and then I paid and then just as I was about to leave she was like oh I need to give you one more thing and she got a little button out like a celebrate I'm celebrating button for Disneyland and hopefully you should be able to see it right now and she wrote um, second visit to Disneyland and put like the date 2022 on it and everything it was very sweet it legitimately made my whole night so Lilia I'm gonna give her a cast compliment actually because apparently you can do it on the app Hannah's done a few herself I've never done one before so it's gonna be my first not in Disneyland basically so it's gonna be my first time using the app to do one in Disneyland and Lilia is gonna get a cast compliment I just need to find out which shop it was but it was one of the shops down Main Street so yeah that has been our night it's been great. I'm so tired. Tomorrow's our last day. We both have a flight late in the evening at like 10.30 p.m. So we still have the majority of the day, but we don't have park tickets. So more than likely, it's going to be mainly like downtown Disney, potentially a little bit of the hotels, maybe just checking out the Grand Californian. I think there's like some Christmas stuff there. We'll see. We'll play it by ear, but we do need to check out of this hotel, Candlewood Switch, which by, by the way has been really good, really good affordable hotel. I would highly recommend it. And this is currently my stuff. That is my mess. I do apologize for it. I need to pack all of this. TV's currently on as well. So yeah, all of this needs to be done tomorrow before 11 a.m. But yeah, that's it. I am. Um... <laughs> oh my God, the lighting's suddenly so much better. So tired. And so is Mr. Snuggles here. <laughs> well, maybe he's not as tired as me. I don't know. He's not really been in the parks, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, we do still have one day left. It might not be in the parks, but it's still going to be magical. And I'm going to probably, I don't know why I just did that. I'm legit so tired. I'm probably going to vlog my journey back to London as well. So the flights and everything. So you guys can see that I'm tired. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>